Hey guys, and welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for joining us today. <laughs> so, so we interrupt our regular scheduled programming to bring you an RV upgrade. So we're in the future, and we hope you're enjoying the truck bed series. Let's get to an upgrade. So the company called RV Libro, R V L I B as in boy R O, reached out to us and wanted to see if we would be interested in upgrading our regular RV lock to one of these keyless entry locks. And of course, we are. So here we are, we're gonna do the install, we're going to program it, and we're gonna share with you what we think about it. Now, I already think that this is an awesome idea because we have a tendency of leaving our keys everywhere. So now, we can just punch in a little number and get in. If that fails, you also have a key entry, and it also has a um, remote. I'm gonna open this and show it to you. All right, so here goes with the unboxing. And um, so the instructions are on top, over here. Just are the instructions. Seems to have oh, a little screwdriver. I'm sure we'll be able to use that in some way. It's a Phillips on one, head, on one side and a flat on the other. The screws, batteries, mm. remotes, no, these are the keys and these are the, what are these called? The hardware. The hardware, yeah. Here's the lock itself. Mechanism. It's actually very substantial. It weighs a lot. I, I was expecting this to be very plasticky but this is this is not plastic that is very impressive and it's heavy very duty. heavy yeah it brings remotes it brings two remotes and the fobs and the fobs it brings i guess a replacement keypad And this is supposed to be a plug-and-play situation where you take out the other, the lock, the original lock, and it should fit right into it. And that's what I'm hoping will happen. This is what we have. Looks like you need some tools. Looks like it. <laughs> Peekaboo! Do you want to help us today? No, you're gonna lay down and enjoy the AC. Here we go. Ready. So I'm using my trusty little toolkit. Um, I've had this thing, I don't know how long. It seems like forever and it, it just works for everything. And this looks like it's gonna be just a regular screwdriver situation here. Um, so let's see what we get into here. <laughs> well, seems like the ticking off part was easy. Yeah, there's some screws there too. I'm assuming I have to take these screws off from the door plate to remove it. And I also have um, silicone on the other side. So might have to clean that off. So shortly after moving into the RV, one of the projects that we did was silicone absolutely every nook and cranny, every crevice that the travel trailer has. And the door handle was one of those areas. We made sure to put silicone all around it. And we suspect that's what's holding the handle in. So Lou very gently, not to scratch or damage anything. She's going around with a razor 
to scrape the silicone a little bit away from the door so that we can go ahead and push it and take it out so that's what's going on now wanted to check in with you guys and explain what was going on and why <laughs> Fine job. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie. So there is our old lock. Works fine. Of course. So time to do some cleaning. That will probably be my part now, so I'm gonna put the camera down so I can clean this all up. I see you. A little Imagic Racer action goes a long way. It's nice and clean. Lou scraped off the silicone. And now? I'm gonna put some ba the batteries in here. Okay. And then I'm gonna take it apart, put the front plate on, put the back plate on. Hopefully it goes as fast as I think it's going. Ooh. So where do the batteries go? So, let me take out this plate. There's a battery compartment in here. I feel like it'll be easier for me to do it while it's off. Let's see. Maybe this is what this is for. Ooh. Yep, there you go. I was very thoughtful. <laughs> for them to include the tools. And they matched it up. Oh. Watch it, watch. it'll fit exactly where the hole is because if it doesn't fit <laughs> oh, <that's> so funny <laughs> I guess wait hey stop it stop it she does not like when people park right in front of our she trailer like when people park drive walk bicycle <laughs> It is a very, very large perimeter. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that I am hoping that this fits exactly in the box that we have in the door. Because if it doesn't fit in the box that's in the door, then it's a no-go because I'm not cutting a bigger hole to fit the lock. Mm. So we'll find out soon enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, because it's electronic, it has like this little uh, connection here that we would have to, I guess, wiggle out. And this is the front plate. So, the moment of truth has arrived. It looks like it's going to fit. I'm going to finagle that in there, I don't know. Oh, I see you're trying to get the lock through in here. I see. So Lou made one attempt of getting the lock in and it was a bit tight. So she says all she thinks that she needs to do is shave off some of the, what is that, styrofoam, styrofoam in there? In here. She's shaving yeah. some of the styrofoam off so that the lock will fit a little bit better. I'm using a little tiny knife. that right into my face. 
<laughs> so it looks like the trick is putting it in at an angle so that the lock will align with coming out and it looks like it is sticking out Woohoo! That is awesome! It fits! Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's exciting. We're in business. So on this Another side. Another RV upgrade. I have to plug in the little uh -huh. thing, so I need you to hold it from the back so I can push. Okay. Okay, there's the double B. You want me to go get a screw? Yeah, you got it. Question is, do you have the screwdriver also? Maybe no, I need to I go don't. get that too. <laughs> and that might be the time for me to put the camera down, you guys. Yeah. So that I can hold that and hold the the screws for her, but you basically get the idea we'll follow up once I am done holding that and helping her all right she got one screw and I had to hold the bag for her I to hold it again. and I am pushing for you push yeah okay. two in two more to go Looks like Lou doesn't need my help for the other two now that it grips properly. Now my other one in here, which is kind of tricky. So you said um, now that you got the lock and you have to put the plate in? Yeah. So that's on the other side of the door. That's over here. This side. Oh, okay. I, I see. That makes sense. There's two little holes for the two little screws. And looks like, oh, and it aligns. It does. So you don't even need to make new holes. I don't know. When I said it was plug and play, it's crazy, right? That's incredible. Right. I'm dumbfounded. <laughs> I guess it's the same for all RVs. Yeah, it must be a generic size. Tighten. So, you know, because you have big muscles like me, you tend to over tighten. Things. <laughs> right. you know, it gets away from you fast. Yeah. Don't know my own strength. Freaked me out there. I thought you locked us out for a moment. <laughs> Thank God the keys were out here and not in there. <laughs> that would have been horrible. Oh my God. So Lou successfully installed the lock. Now there is another plate to put on this side, um, but we've decided not to put it on and I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you why. So the testing that we did of putting the lock in place, closing it and stuff worked fine. Um, and if we put this here, that aligns fine there, but it doesn't down here. So we would have to make another hole. If the door lock didn't work with what we have, then I would see worth putting this one on and making the second hole. But since it works perfectly, I kind of don't want to put another breach in the RV of any sort. So no point in putting in another hole. We can use what we got just fine. So now it's time for Lou to programmed a lot <laughs> she went inside to give Lexi some love um, 
Because she's screaming and crying a lot. So I need my phone for this. Ah, you need the phone. Okay. Yeah, I, I have notes on the phone. <laughs> okay. Actually, I have notes here too. I did. I gave myself some notes here. Um, the only reason why I did this and why I have it on my phone as well is because I had to read this a couple of times. This, um, I don't know, I feel like this is, I think, a Chinese company. And so the instructions are a little wonky. Um, they did their best. Translating. But for me, I had to read it a couple of times to get the gist of it. Mm -hmm. So I wrote it down in the front here. <laughs> Your own notes. Yeah, you see the handwritten notes. Yeah, see, I wrote it down <laughs> so that it would be in my English. <laughs> and I could understand it. <laughs> so let's try it. All right, so Lou is locking it, and we're going to walk you through, quote, unquote, her English. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if it's right, but we're going to try it. Right. So this comes pre-programmed with a passcode of one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. So the first step is one, two, three, four, unlock. You heard that? And then one, two, three, four, lock. You heard that? Now it says press eight plus the lock together. So I'm pressing eight and the lock at the same time. And then it says press one, two, three, four, lock. One, two, three, four, lock. And then input your combo. So now you have to move away. <laughs> what do we, what do we, we haven't decided on anything. Do your pen. Okay. So. We are on a tap number to reread the instructions and do a little bit more research and figure it out before we do attempt number four. <laughs> success I actually didn't have the camera on <laughs> at the time that Lou programmed it so I think it will take a couple of attempts yeah mm -hmm. um, probably due to like the whole language barrier with with um, the instructions, the instructions. Mm -hmm. but just as a recap what you want to do is press the 8 and the lock right. simultaneously mm -hmm. you're gonna get a long beep at which point you want to put in your default uh, password pin that oh. your manufacturer gives you right might be the same as ours which right. is one two three four right and then you're gonna click lock again right at that point is where you're gonna put in your personal pin right and so, you can put it there's no limit to how many numbers you can use okay so you can use you know four four six ten numbers whatever you want okay so you put in your personal pin and then lock mm -hmm. and within two seconds mm -hmm. and timing is literally everything <laughs> Um, might even have to be faster than two seconds in my opinion um, you put in your pin lock putting your pin a second time lock right and then you'll see that the lock actually moves so at that point you can test it make right. sure you put in your pin again unlock it and lock it mm -hmm. and then you're set to go right right, right. so That's now we're right. gonna do the fob we're gonna do the fob which which I think is gonna be a lot easier a lot easier yeah, yeah. I read the instructions with Lou in that part seems simple enough so let's give it a shot yeah okay 
you're wow. analyzing the fob. Um, it's hard to see. <laughs> like the bottom is the lock, and the bottom is the and the top is the unlock, but it's okay. hard to see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there's a little thing in here that says key fob. It has a little square around it, and you mm -hmm. have to flip the switch from off to on. To on. Okay. And then we're going to depress this little button here. Okay. Let's make sure we're unlocked. Yeah. And then I'm going to press the lock, which is on the bottom. At the same time that you're pushing in the reset. Right. Ready? Ooh. Did it work? Let's see if it and works by itself. There's a works. lock. There's lock. Awesome. And you got to do it for both of the key fobs. Okay. So this one's programmed, so now I got to grab the other one. All right. So here's the other one. We're going to do the same thing. Gonna You're going to press, press and... First, and then the lock button, and then the unlock button. So you press this, you hear the beep. When you hear the beep, you press the lock button, and then it programs it. Okay. So there we go. There's the lock, and there's the unlock. So now that we got the pin, the pin set, and you set the fobs, the third one is the key. You have the keys, which you don't need to do anything. And it's just a regular. And there's the top locking. for the handle. Uh huh. And then the bottom and here's for the, the bottom bolt for the lock. Okay. There you go. All right. So now that we've got done with the unboxing, the installation, and the programming, yeah. the link for this RV lock is down below in the description right. and and a discount code for you as well. Mm -hmm. So make sure you check that out. It will also be listed in our uh, Amazon store. Yes. Yes. So you can either go and search for it through our Amazon store and get your discount. <laughs> which we really encourage you to do that. Right. Or you can just go and type in Risto RV Door Lock. Make sure you check the description below for the link as well as that coupon code to get a discount. Yes. If you enjoyed today's vlog, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And now we return you to regular programming. See you next week back in the truck camper. <laughs> Bye guys.